breaking news out of the FBI. Trey Gowdy is about to go full bulldog. Without a shadow of a doubt, one of the most controversial methods that liberal Democrats employed to try stopping Trump during the 2016 presidential election was the infamous dossier, the Russia Trump dossier, that attempted to dig up dirt on the president to be used by Hillary Clinton. This was a document that largely inspired the currently fruitless investigation into collusion between Trump and Russia, a true exercise in futility put together by desperate Democrats looking for any way possible to defeat conservatives and even to get Trump booted from office. Well, congressional Republicans are doing their own investigations, the Congress, that is, is uh, investigating, into the dossier and according to Fox News. Deputy FBI Director Andrew McCabe was grilled for a whopping seven hours with his testimony determined to contain, listen to this, multiple conflicts with the testimony given by previous witnesses. So somebody's lying and it looks like it's McCabe. This has resulted in a brand spanking new round of subpoenas to be issued for FBI personnel and other Justice Department workers. You can bet Republican Representative Trey Gowdy is just chomping at the bit to get a hold of these guys. Here's Fox News with more details. This is what they report. While HPSCI staff would not confirm who will be summoned for testimony, all indications point to demoted DOJ official Bruce J. Orr and FBI General Counsel James A. Baker who accompanied McCabe, along with other lawyers, to Tuesday's HPSCI session. The issuance of a subpoena against the Justice Department's top lawyer could provoke a new constitutional clash between the two branches. Even worse than the months-long tug-of-war over documents and witnesses that has already led House Speaker Paul Ryan to accuse the Department of Justice and the FBI of, quote-unquote, stonewalling and HPSCI Chairman Devin Nunes, Republican from California, to threaten contempt of Congress citations against Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein and FBI Director Christopher Wray. This is serious stuff. Quote, it's hard to know who's telling us the truth, end quote, said one House investigator after McCabe's questioning. Fox News is told that several lawmakers participated in the questioning of McCabe, led chiefly by Representative Trey Gowdy, Republican from South Carolina. Sources who were close to the investigation stated that McCabe was a quote-unquote friendly witness to the Democrats present, who were trying hard to get him to help build the case against Trump for obstruction of justice in the Russian probe. But they ultimately failed. McCabe insisted that he and the Bureau worked diligently to verify the information contained in the Trump dossier and argued to uphold its integrity. However, when he was asked to provide information on what he had been corroborating in the documents, what had been corroborated in this document, McCabe only cited the fact that Carter Page, Trump's campaign advisor, had traveled to Moscow. Okay, so... So he traveled to Moscow. So what? Apparently the Bureau could not even verify the dossier's allegations about the meetings that supposedly went down in Moscow. The committee then asked McCabe, when he became aware of it, that the dossier had been funded by Hillary Clinton's presidential campaign, and this is, this is astonishing what, he, what happened after that, to which he conveniently answered he could not recall, quote-unquote. I can't recall. When did you find out that Hillary Clinton was paying for the dossier, funding it? And McCabe said, McCabe says, I cannot recall. This is kind of strange given there are actual documents with McCabe's signature on them that clearly establish the fact he knew of the documents financing. This is no doubt just the tip of the iceberg as the corruption of the Democratic Party and that of the former administration Obama is just now coming to light. No doubt this really, really runs very deep.
It's going to be a super entertaining thing to watch Gowdy sink his teeth into these guys, uncovering the truth these dirty folk want to keep buried. You know, what happens when people start lying? They forget the logic behind how they structure their lie. They'll, they will get caught. This is on American Freedom Fighters.